Hey everybody, welcome to English with Nate. I am Nate. In this video, we're going to talk about the word tangent. Tangent. We're going to talk about what tangent means. We're going to talk about how to pronounce the word tangent. And we have two example sentences that help us better understand the meaning of the word. Please hit subscribe to this channel so you can learn new words with me. Also like this video and in the comments section, I have homework for you. Please write a sentence that uses the word tangent. Tangent is a noun and it means going off the main subject. I'm going to repeat that one more time. Tangent is a noun and it means going off the main subject. So instead of saying focused on the main subject, you start to talk about other topics that are not related. I want to let you know that there is another definition of tangent, but we're not going to discuss it deeply in this video, but it's related to math. So just in case you hear tangent connected to connected with mathematics, I wanted you to know about that definition as well. Let's read some example sentences so we can have a better understanding of the meaning of the word tangent. Again, tangent is a noun, and just to remind you, a noun is a person, place, thing, or idea. Example number one. That teacher is well-liked because he often goes on tangents instead of teaching the class material. That teacher is well-liked because he often goes on tangents instead of teaching the class material. The students really like that he doesn't focus on the class material. They like to hear stories that are not related to their assignments or to the subject that they're studying. The second example sentence is this. During the meeting, the speaker stays on topic. She did not go off on tangents. During the meeting, the speaker stays on topic. She did not go off on tangents. So in the first example, the teacher went on tangents, talked about other subjects. But in the second example, the teacher focuses on the main subject. I'm going to repeat the word three times and let you see the word. And then in a moment, we're going to take the word away and we will practice pronouncing the word three more times. Let's begin. Tangent. Tangent. One more time. Tangent. Now I'm going to take the word away. Let's practice together. Tangent. Tangent. Good job, everybody. Let's keep up the good work. Last time, tangent. Thanks for watching this video and practicing the word tangent with me. We know what it means. We have some example sentences and we've practiced pronouncing the word together. Be sure to click subscribe, like this video, and do your homework in the comments section. Write me a sentence that you use the word tangent in. I'll be sure to check the comments section. Have a great day. Talk to you later.